Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has recently announced some interesting plans to start adding generative AR, artificial intelligence, to their Google search engine. And this was announced um, earlier this week at Google's keynote, um, which took place, as many of you may know. And um, this is currently not to be confused with Google Bard. The AR capabilities that they will soon be rolling out to their search engine um, are not to be confused with Google Bard, which is currently a standalone chatbot which is currently in an experimental phase, which Google has started rolling out to the general public, as I have been posting. And uh, um, they have mentioned in a recent blog post that they will start testing these new AR features in Google Search, first of all, in Search Labs, which means it's only going to be rolling out to a, a few select regions at first with a limited subset of users before they start pushing out these new AR features in Google Search to the general public. So just take note of that. Now, there are one or two key highlights, which I'm just going to mention um, today in this video, just to keep you up to date and in the loop, if you would be interested. And for this, we're just going to use one or two screenshots provided from that blog post, which will give us a general idea. And I do apologize for the quality of this first screenshot. Um, Google has said, as an example, and as we can see from the image provided, they say, let's take a question like, and I'm quoting, what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, brass canyon or arches? Now, that's the question they are using in this example with AR integrated into Google search. Then they say, normally you might break this one question down into smaller ones, sort through the vast information available, and start to piece things together yourself. Now, with generative AR, search can do some of that so-called heavy lifting for you, and you'll see an AR-powered snapshot of key information to consider with links to dig deeper, as we can see from this screenshot provided. And uh, um, below the snapshot, uh, you'll also see, if we just zoom in here, you'll also see su suggested next steps, including the ability to ask follow-up questions. So um, these are just some examples of those follow-up questions. So that's the first example. Um, improving search with generative AR. Now, the next example is, if we just head to the next screenshot, and um, this is a GIF, um, which will give us another good idea. The next key highlight is helping you shop with generative AR. So what Google says um, with this new feature is when searching for a product, you'll get a snapshot of noteworthy factors to consider and products that fit the bill, so to speak. You'll also get product descriptions that include relevant up-to-date reviews ratings, prices, and product images. So this is just an example, um, as mentioned in this GIF, this image provided that will give us a general idea. Now, um, Search Labs, where the, t the feature is currently made available, as mentioned in limited regions, is rolling out on Chrome Desktop and the Google app for Android and iOS in the United States and other English-speaking regions first, as mentioned. Now, after obviously they do gather feedback and do test this feature a little bit more. Google will roll out um, th these features to the um, general public. So it will become uh, more widely available in the future. And within the next few weeks, um, you also may gain access to this new search experience. And that will be by tapping the labs icon at the top of Google search. So uh, in this example, yeah, you can see there's a labs icon at the top. So if we just zoom in there, that little icon, if it is available in your region, you can... Uh, test this feature by clicking on that search labs icon and um, if you are interested to join the waiting list for these features i'll leave a link down below um, to the website where you can actually do that but just um, remember currently it's only available in certain regions so um, just take note of that and if any more information does become available and this um, generative ai does start rolling out to the google search engine more and does become more widely available I will obviously post and keep you guys up to speed. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.